Okay, welcome guys. We're so excited. Thanks, thanks for those of you who jumped on a few minutes early. We love getting to do our dance party with you guys. Um, and so just to kick off this call, um, we're just so glad to see your faces. We are so thrilled that we get to come together, um, you know, COVID or not, and be together and see each other's faces. Like that is my favorite part of Tuesday nights, to just to connect with you, to smile, to laugh, to learn. And um, that's really what this is all about, is that just community. And this is an opportunity to pour into yourself and pour into your business because we know that we can't pour out from an empty cup. We have to be filled up. And this is the place where you get filled up um, each week. And so we just want to have you put it on your calendars, make sure that it's a part of your weekly routine for your business and for your personal growth and development. So um, for anyone who doesn't know me, I'm Michelle Barnett, and I'm so excited to be one of the leaders on our team. Um, this has just been a crazy journey for me, and um, I'm excited tonight that we get to talk about our JP Live Wellness Conference recap. So um, I'm sure a lot of you guys were able to tune in to some or all of the conference, but we know that we're all busy, and so tonight we wanted to give you a really great overview of highlights of what happened and um, it was really special really magical of course nothing can compare to being together and hugging each other's necks and celebrating and toasting and cheersing and you know all the things but um, we did have a good time watching it together and sharing our learning so before I get started on that I'm actually going to um, talk about um, our units on our team. I know there's so many new people on here and we are just constantly striving to make our team blueprint system better than ever. And this weekend we had some great verbiage that was shared with us that we wanted to give to you guys as a tool to help you share this with others. So I'm going to share my screen um, with you guys real quick and briefly show you some quick changes that we have. Um, on unit one. So those of you working on Partner Plus, or if you have um, someone working on Partner Plus, if my uh, internet will go, then I'll show you quickly. Okay, so units, this is where you're gonna find everything you need to get to your first and second and third promotion. Um, Partner Plus is step one. And I'm briefly just gonna share with you the added verbiage that we loved and we thought would be really beneficial for you. So you're gonna see more. So this first message is a new message that we added. Um, just to, it's just a general outreach message to share with people what you found in Juice Plus and share your excitement. So it says, hi, I have no idea where this will land for you. My family and I have found something we are really excited about. I thought about you because I know, just like me, you're really trying to do the best thing for your family too. I really think this is gonna resonate with you. I'd be curious, to, I'd be curious about what you think. Would you be open to learning more? So you're not really telling them what it is yet. You're asking for that opportunity to share more. And that sharing more is either going to be um, connecting them with a, your mentor on a message or a call. And if you're not comfortable with that or the person you're sharing with maybe isn't comfortable with that yet, this is a great tool. So we always recommend first connecting them with your mentor. But we have a section here that really tells you what to do if they're not comfortable with that three-way message or conversation. And so you can follow this plan and it will really set you up for success. So I just wanted you guys to see that, to know that that change is there and to have that as a tool in your tool belt as you're working on this. Um, these promotions. And one last thing I'll say about that, it's really important to work on that first promotion. Our business goes month by month. And so what you do in April, you're going to get paid on in May. So it is really important if you're brand new and you're working on Partner Plus to wrap up those conversations, to send out more conversations this week so that you can get the orders in by Thursday. Thursday is the last day of April. And so we want to help you because this, what happens is if you make your promotion in April, that means you get your bonus money, your $50 bonus in May. And it also means that any orders you place in May and going forward, you're gonna get that 5% commission on. So basically you get paid more for doing the same work if you get your promotion in April. Um, you obviously have 30 days, so you can do it after you know May 1st, but we just wanna set you up for success and we like to help you make the most money possible doing the work that we do. So that's our encouragement and challenge for you is to have enough conversations 
do enough follow-up, get your mentor involved so that you can make that promotion by April 30th. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is we're going to celebrate. We're gonna announce our Saturday contest winner. We had a contest every day of the Juice Plus Live, and Saturday we, our winner for sharing your why is Tawana Lynch. So congratulations. She shared her why for being a part of our company on our social media that is so huge because we know when pe we share that people are reading it people are watching and people are learning about what we're doing so um, I'm going to be sending you a gratitude journal Tawana so make sure that you get me your address and if you are her upline um, make sure she knows that that is available if she's not on I don't know if she's on tonight so um, our grand prize winner, someone who had several entries um, into the contest, and this person did the post, the challenge every single day, and what they get is a free conference ticket to Indianapolis in October, which is so exciting. This is like $150 value, and they get to go for free. So our free winner is Anya Jones! Yay, Anya! So exciting! She did so awesome. Hey, Anya. Is she on here? I don't know if she's on here. I texted her to get on, but um, yay. She'll watch the recording for sure. So um, that's super exciting. And then now we're going to move to promotion. So um, I'm going to ask a couple leaders to introduce their new teammates who got promoted and let them share a minute or two about what that journey has been for them and um, just, you know, what they're excited about. So Jenny Cahotis, you're up first. Do you want to introduce your new promoted teammate? I sure do. I'm so excited. So um, I want to introduce Kristen Gebhardt, who's on tonight. And Kristen's been a Juice Plus customer for, what, four years? Her and her kids. And um, we've just become good friends over the years. And um, she just jumped into the business and really went for it during this business blitz and she's blown it out of the water. So Kristen, do you want to tell us a little bit of why that is? Yeah. Um, so I'm trying to think of the best way to, so I am a part of another MLM and uh, last January we were starting a mastermind and right around that time, Jenny was like, hey, I offer a lot of mentorship and we like lead you down this path and you're not alone. And like, that's something I wanted for a long time, but I had already been like, oh, I'm trying to like launch my other business. So this whole past year and a half, I keep thinking about mentorship and mentorship and all that stuff. Meanwhile, my husband and I have been taking the capsules, my girls are taking the gummies, and then we decided to get a tower garden. And then we got a $200 check in the mail. And I was like, what the hell? I didn't even do anything for this. Um, and so that kind of lit a fire in me because you obviously share things you love. And I share about my tower garden on um, social media all the time, which is how I got Sammy to become one of my partners because she's been interested in the tower gardens as well. So anyway, it's nutrition is something that I'm very interested in. I want to go get my master's in integrative nutrition. And so this just kind of like feeds into all of that and I might as well get paid in the process so yeah the mentorship and the check kind of was like okay yeah I can do this sounds like a win-win <laughs> and I know Jenny is a great mentor so you are in great hands and we can't wait to see what the next step looks like for you well congratulations um, we have another um, new partner plus and I will let Jillian unmute and introduce us. Hey, really, really excited to be here and to introduce Brittany. She is um, a brand new teammate. She joined during the Blitz as well. Her and her, and her boys have been taking Juice Plus for a while and she's just really loved it. And um, she's a good friend of mine. We have a lot of honest conversations about things and we talked about her joining the business. And like Kristen, she has just completely blown it out of the water and we've had just so many conversations and a lot of success. And so I'd just love to hear from you, Brittany, and just how it's been going and um, what you think about how, how you think it's going. Thank you. Um, yeah, no, it's been really fun. It's definitely um, the mentorship, like Kristen said, has played a huge role 
um, for me. Jillian's been there. I mean, it, we've been friends for a while, so it's really easy for me to talk to Jillian. But as far as a mentor, it's you know, like literally there, step by step. Um, I attempted a solo conversation today and it ended up, hey, you want to jump in with me? Because there's something I don't understand. Um, <laughs> but, but you started it, the solo conversation and did really well with it. So, And then, and it was, it was going really well. And then she threw in a, um, a health diagnosis that she had and I went, oh, oh boy, okay. Um, but you know, just having the conversations and following those units has been really big for me and the verbiage. Um, and then also, um, just the five conversations right out of the gate. Um, I was a little timid to do it and then I didn't make the time, you know, um, and I just did it the one and I'm like, no, I'm just going for it. And I think what four out of the five, Jillian, have four already, the five ordered, have already ordered. Mm -hmm. So, um, ah. conversations from there. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And one of them was, one of them was a new teammate too. Yeah, girl. So, and I just, one thing, I'm a big list person. So when um, Jillian asked me if I wanted to share, this is kind of my list I'm working on now, like who I have left. Um, and the one just put her order in this morning and then kind of, I've got two right now and then we're waiting on a couple others, but there's still a couple that I haven't talked to. So, but yeah, just those five messages out of the gate and then working through the units has been really good. That's amazing. We are so proud of you. Way to use the units, way to use the system. That's why it's there. We want to support you and equip you. And uh, I love that the first thing you said that it's been fun because that's truly our heart that we want to have fun. We want to make a difference and we want to help your family, you know, and reach your goals. So we're really proud of you. So yay, QSC, here you come. <laughs> and uh, you're in good hands too. Well, um, I wanted to also recognize someone, she's not on right now, but she has a little, um, almost six month old, so she's probably putting him in five months, four months, four, I don't know, four months old, um, so she's probably with him right now, but my teammate Holly hit QSC today, so I'm super excited for her, she um, just like finished her 60 day window hit it and we're just super proud for her and so I'm sure we'll be able to get her on another call to share her journey um, but super excited she gets a $300 bonus coming her way and a conference ticket and um, just all the perks that come with that extra commission so um, what I want to do now is I have another teammate that um, we recognized on the last call who has um, reached QSC recently, has brought on several teammates, is helping them be successful. And I just asked her to jump on and share a little bit about, you know, a minute or two about her journey and just, you know, what it's been like for her and what's been helping her and how, how is she doing it, having a full-time job, working at home with kiddos, with quarantine, and, you know, how is she doing that? Because I know a lot of us are in the same boat and, you know, it's, it's doable. So I want Carrie, will you uh, unmute yourself and share? Absolutely. Well, first, thank you for letting me share. Um, just kind of, I'm sorry, I kind of typed everything out. So <laughs> I wouldn't miss anything. Um, but just my journey uh, to QSC has definitely been enlightening, exciting, but at the same time, definitely frightening and nerve wracking. Um, like you had mentioned, I am still currently working full time. Um, but obviously what used to be my long-term goal, but now my short-term goal is moving away from retiring from that corporate job, um, focusing on my business, um, but then also trying to become a certified health coach, um, and continuing more of my wellness journey. And like you mentioned, quarantine actually though has been a blessing for me because I've been able to kind of work both businesses at the same time. Um, and really stay in tune with my follow-ups. And as we say in the marketing world, it takes seven touches to change somebody's mind. And I know some of the stuff I've read that you guys have put out where it's, okay, a lot of people will say no on the first four times, but it's that fifth time. So it's usually that five to seven times. So really follow-ups are key. Um, but then also focusing on my social media posts, but again, being mindful, let me do it either before I'm supposed to be working over my lunchtime or at, after close of business. Um, and yeah, being completely transparent, it is very hard working full time. I have a four and a two year old that are with me all the time. 
Um, so it is difficult, um, but for me, I just kind of hit the ground running knowing I have bold goals that I want to hit. And so that's just really, you know, kind of where you talked about those first five. I got my first three signed up and then just kind of kept talking to family members to work on building um, partners from there. And just for, for me being, I'm very much introverted. And so it's kind of hard for me to put my personal life out there, but being honest and sincere in social media, people, it really resonates with people and it's building that relationship with them to where I've had people message me and say, Hey, your stories are re really hitting me in this area or that area. So it's just really fulfilling for me of knowing that my story is now helping many more um, stories to come. But again, just, yes, it's a lot of work right up front, but knowing if you can put in the sweat, the tears, whatever it is, um, that it will definitely pay off in the long run. Absolutely. And I think everything you said is really encouraging because you do have to keep that vision and that why at the front of your mind, you know, when it gets hard and when you have that fear creep in, like it has to be like, why am I doing this? Oh yeah. Because I don't want to be doing this other job for like, you know, the next five or 10 years or however long. So I love that. Thank you. Okay, guys, get your chat box out. Our question is that we're going to have you guys answer. Um, if you watched any part of Juice Plus Live, what was your biggest tip or takeaway from the conference? Um, just type it in the chat. It can be the name of the training. It can be the topic of the training. Um, you know, just put it in the chat. We'll talk about those at the end of the call. So use the chat box. Put your biggest tip, your biggest takeaway, your favorite trainer, um, and we'll, we'll we'll check those out in a minute. Okay, now we have Lindsay Lowry. She's going to jump on and just talk really quick about our digital update and what's happening in the digital world of Juice Plus. Like, what exciting things do we have to look forward to? All right, I can share my screen, right? Okay. Okay, so a couple really exciting things. And again, I'll go pretty quick. Oh, it's going to pop up. So we are getting a new look to our website. So everybody has their own personal Juice Plus website. And they've really just gone in and cleaned it up. They've cleaned it up. It's not so busy. If you see on the left side of my screen, this is our now. And you see there's, there's a lot of choices they can make. And we know people are busy. People are like, I need the information. I got to go. I want to get in. I want to get out. I want to know what I need to know. And right now, there's just, there's just a lot going on. So on the right-hand side, and this isn't finished yet, but they've just cleaned it up. They've um, made it easier to navigate, and they've made it more kind of personable. They personified it to where, you know, people connect with people. And so there's more pictures of people living healthy and eating and taking our products and drinking water and the things that make them want to be a part of our community and add Juice Plus in. So they've just made so many great changes because they know that um, our time is valuable and our prospects and customers' time is valuable. And so corporate's always just putting their best foot forward for us and in their marketing. Um, I want this to pull up really quickly too. I'll show you something else that they've done. So on the left-hand side, these are all of our product choices when people click on our products. And you can see they're kind of small. And the first thing you notice is the um, prices of the products. And if people don't have, if they don't understand Juice Plus, if they don't have a great value for Juice Plus yet, they can already be turned away just by looking at the prices. And so what they've done on the right hand side, they've cleaned it up again. They've made um, each product have its own category. Whoop, a FaceTime. And um, now they have more of what each product is and then what health benefits go with each product. So people really have clearer choices. And then there's a navigational tool over here that goes deeper into the science behind each one and the prices for them. So, the last image I'll show you, I'll skip that one. They also changed the checkout to make it very clear of what they are ordering and the price breakdown. So there's no confusion when the customer or your prospect leaves of what their monthly payment will be or what their pay in full payment options are. So the last one I'll show you really quickly is our virtual office is getting a new look, which, um, 
is exciting because again, there's a lot of navigational choices and they've simplified it. So over on the right hand side, when this won't come till the summer of 2020, but when you open your new virtual office coming soon, you can see your business at a glance and it will tell you exactly where you are in your business and where you need to go. So you won't have to dig and find and try to calculate and look at numbers and things like that. It's already going to be right there calculated for us. And then you can see your customers at a glance, your team at a glance. And what this shows is just that our corporate office has our backs 100%. They are always working to make things easier and um, more time effective for us because we know and they know that time is valuable and that's part of the advantage of being in this business is our time flexibility and our time freedom so by giving us this advantage of where we're at knowing exactly the next steps we need to make we can take more time to do our business building activities to work on our customers and our prospects and our social media and all of that will give us more time with our families so to me this was just amazing that they are working for us every single day. So really cool things to come. I think they said summer 2020, so. Yeah, we can't come soon enough. <laughs> well, thank you, Lindsay, that was awesome. I know I'm so excited about that as well. Well, one of the um, trainings that I loved was from Saturday. Saturday was all about the field, which would, when we say the field, that's like representatives, partners who are linking arms, who are having success, who are training us with their best practices. and. Um, what I loved was the, it was called going or getting, what's it called? Um, uh, getting a yes. So basically, um, she talked about invites. And, you know, when you're inviting, whether it's to an in-person event or to an uh, at-home event or online event, um, really it's about um, inviting, you know, it's about inviting and it's about follow-up. Those are two huge components of getting a yes. And so she said, you know, when you think about inviting to events, 10 to 20% of people are going to actually attend, right? So we're not a big fan of inviting hundreds or thousands, right? We want it to be feel personal, but we still need to invite enough to where, you know, if you want to have, you know, five or 10 people that you're working with and following up with, you've got to multiply that and invite 20 or 30 or 40 people to hear about, you know, what you're sharing at this event because everyone has their own timing where they're ready. Like um, Carrie said, they take several exposures to get to that point of they're ready to say yes. Um, she says that most people won't say yes the first time. She said, think about how many people you're inviting and how often are you following up? When people say no to them, she says, we always offer them another event. We say, okay, like, it's okay, you can't make this one, but I have another one on Thursday or have another one next week. Would that work for you? And just giving them opportunities to say yes, giving them opportunities maybe to watch a video, something that's going to sit well with them and get them to a yes. Um, I loved her verbiage and I, I already read that to you guys on our team units. It's in unit one. If you want to look at her verbiage as how she connects with people, she said she makes her invites more about the person that she's talking to than about the event content. And I love that because if you make it more about the person, you can use it over and over for any event because you're talking more about them and wanting to see them or hang out with them or, you know, get their opinion, get their feedback. Right. Um, she also talked about um, their team does multiple events every month. So they have a flyer every month that has the events that are coming up. And so what we're gonna do for you guys in May is we're working on a schedule, a flyer that says, okay, here are all our team-wide events. And so when you do invite someone, you can say, if they say, oh, I can't make that, you can just invite them to the next one, right? You're just gonna have a clear list of all the events that, um, that we have available. It's going to be in the announcements on our team page. And then we also try to put the events on our cover photo of our team page. So you'll have to look out for that. We're going to make it even easier. Um, and then she said an invitation is an entry way to the process leading to a yes. So um, she always invites people to learn about the product and the business. And I thought that this is really important. You know, we are trying to expand and let as many people know about Juice Plus as possible. And if we are only sharing the products, we're missing a huge opportunity to reach 
circles outside of our own influence. And so um, in the event that they shared, they share the product and their business story, product videos and the business videos. And so we're gonna be doing um, that. We're gonna be modeling their event and bringing it to you guys every week so that you can always have something to share the product and the business with people. Um, I also loved that, um, let's see here, one of the things she shared that I thought was really powerful, I actually used it in my Facebook store post was, she said, I thought, what if, because I partner with this company and I'm helping people, I could dot, dot, dot. I could send my kids to any school of my choice. I could give more. I could plan for retirement better. I could take much needed vacations. I could pay off debt. And I just want to challenge you guys to think about that. You know, what if, because you partner with this company and you're helping people, like what is it, what can it allow, allow you to do in the future? That's really going to be what drives you. And then the last thing I want to share with you is that her follow-up, they follow up during the event, towards the end, or right after. If it's in person, of course, they're going to start talking to them at the event. But right after, follow up with people and say, which option gets you the most excited and which are you the most comfortable moving forward with? I love that. That's so easy. Or um, it only takes a few minutes to order tonight. Would that be, would that be helpful? Or would you like me to help you fill out your partner application? So she's just giving them an option to say yes to either ordering or joining the team. Um, there's also some objections that I'm not gonna go over, but I will make sure to post them to our team page. But for, for uh, lack of time, we're gonna move on. But that training is Jennifer Saville getting to a yes. So that was Saturday, it's still up. All these trainings are up for two weeks. Um, with that, I'm gonna invite Casey Elmore to get on for a minute or two and just share about um, something that's on her heart after listening to our amazing Juice Plus Live. Thanks, Mish. Hey guys, um, I just wanted to hop on real quick um, because overall conference was amazing. There was so much good stuff. I think sometimes it can be overwhelming when you're getting so much great information. You're like, what do I use? Where do I go? How do I you know, make the best of it? And what I, my biggest takeaway was that, and, and getting to hear all of this success and all these promotions that are happening right now, you know, with Holly and Carrie and everyone that was recognized tonight and last week is that ultimately our blueprint system works. The units, what is in our units, it absolutely works. And just using it and using the tools that are there is what's going to help you, you know, make an impact and, sh and share with so many people with ease and with confidence and by really digging in um, to the units and leaning into your mentorship. That was probably my biggest takeaway is that systems work when you commit to using them consistently. And so I just wanted to give a, a kudos again to everybody who's just rocking it out right now and really really letting the system, the blueprint lead you because that's really why it's there. Um, and we're so grateful for all the leaders that have put the energy and the time into it. It's really making a difference and we're seeing it right now. And so we're excited for you and just keep taking those steps. Um, and we're so grateful that you guys are here with us. Awesome. Thank you. Yeah. Super pumped about our system. Okay. Uh, Trisha Nelson, you are up and we, Trisha is going to share with us some exciting things that I did. I missed this part of conference. And so she, she shared with me some exciting things about our labels and just changes to the product. Hi guys. Can you hear me? Okay. I know last time you couldn't hear me. Okay. Um, well, I didn't take a lot of notes on part of it. Um, but I do know that the FDA has required some changes to our labels. Um, something to do with the sugars and percent of day, percentage of daily values, vitamin A and stuff like that. But she just really, really stressed that nothing about the product is changing. It is still going to be the exact same product, um, but just new requirements on the labeling. So she said, I'm sure some people will have questions about that and people always get antsy when things change, but um, it's really a good thing for us. Um, but the um, thing I did take the most notes on is that they are removing the enzymes and the probiotics from our actual capsule. And the reason for that, I guess, um, most of the countries have different formulas and those ingredients are disallowed in most countries. And so they are changing the U.S. formula to match those and they are removing the enzymes and the probiotics. Um, when they originally added the probiotics back in the 90s, uh, the research was still in the baby stages. They didn't know a lot. I guess at that time that they know now. Um, 
uh, the probiotics don't really harmonize with the plant-based powder concentrate. So it doesn't work as it was originally intended. Um, the enzymes and the probiotics aren't really doing anything in addition to what the plant powders do. So it's really not gonna make a difference. Um, they did a lot of research. They tried a lot of different formulas. Um, and he's, uh, I can't think what his name is. It's the guy that does all the research videos. But he said that usually it's really disappointing when you find no difference in research. He said in this case, it was really a good thing because it really is not making any difference. So it's not gonna change anything by removing those from the capsules. So that's basically it in short. So things are changing, but not changing really. Awesome, thank you, Tricia. Yeah, I had missed that part. So I'm really appreciative of you sharing that. Okay, um, now we have Jen Reiser. She's gonna touch on our Healthy Starts for Families and how to really do your business, having more family-oriented um, outreach, events, et cetera. Awesome, so I'm gonna share a couple slides. Can you hear me? I'm assuming, thumbs up. Okay, perfect. Um, let me get them real fast and I'm gonna try to go through them pretty quick as well. Um, okay. Okay, so basically, um, you know, she talked about how, okay, so this is for the Healthy Starts for Families, and she said, you know, all families need our health solutions, and it's our job to simply share and let them decide. And so once they order, the main thing to do is to add education and make them feel appreciated. So we want to go above and beyond, and they have known um, just throughout over the years that the biggest business businesses are the ones who have the most healthy starts for families because they're the ones who are invested in their family. They're getting the free product and they want to stick with it. Um, and so she just kind of taught us how to share our story with emotion. Um, and um, I wanted to go over one of the examples she gave because I thought it was really good. You know, she said, you know, if I'm talking to a nurse or a doctor, I'm going to be sharing like, okay, the research really stood out to me because I'm a science nerd. But if she's talking to a mom, she's going to make her story relate to them. So she's going to say, you know, I'm so grateful that I found Juice Plus um, because I have a picky eater. And um, she actually had a person on her um, team who really struggled with migraines. And in her story, she would kind of say, um, you know, she would tell her story, but she would just simply say, you know, I used to have migraines and just kind of leave it at that. And so um, Tori really said, okay, now how did you feel having migraines? Like, what was that like? You know, and so telling your story with emotion and she's like, um, oh my goodness, it was so, you know, so awful. And I felt so guilty because my kids would come home from school and I'd be laying on the couch and I couldn't help them with snacks and I couldn't help them with homework because I was just in pain and I couldn't focus. And she's like, that's what you need to be sharing. And so she kind of tweaked her story now. And, it, you know, she says, you know, since starting Juice Plus and eating more plants and taking the smoothies, I'm now such a better mom. And here's why. And then she kind of shares her story with emotion. And there's lots of different ways to share um, your story, whether it's person to person, when you're out and about, going to the gym, um, doing play dates, whatever, just get comfortable with sharing your story. Another big way is to do through events. Um, and some of those are to keep them fun, relaxed, simple. But the most important thing is to have a simple presentation and add value. Um, I think we'll talk about events later, but she had some really cute ones like um, cookie class with moms and daughters, frozen uh, popsicles in the park, you know, salt in the jar we do a lot of, um, maybe a fitness party, but just keeping the presentation, the Juice Plus presentation, just very simple, have a few people share their stories and add value within that um, event. And of course, events create community and they'll usually bring their friends. Um, take a screenshot of this because these are really impactful people that we should be following on social media because social media is another key way to share your story um, just to add value, create curiosity, intrigue. Don't make it all about Juice Plus. And if you follow these people, you'll see that that's um, a big thing. They'll often share the capsules, but they're not talking about Juice Plus. So you want to share the lifestyle, not necessarily um, what it is but what it does. One thing that I really like that she did is she took these company graphics. Um, that they often share and she actually texts them to her customers as a personal um, customer care that I thought was a cool way of doing that. Um, take a screenshot of this as well. I'm not really going to go through it, but there's some different ideas for customer care, some things to do and kind of um, pick up on and reach out to. Um, and 
the main thing, I just have a few more things I want to, I want to summarize real fast, but she said the main thing is building true relationships. So asking those questions, you know, what are your health challenges as a family? You know, what it, do you have picky eaters? What is your family schedule like? And just really inviting them into our community, even before they, they um, purchase, you know, add them into the Facebook group and then set up a conversation that you can say, you know, what is your family schedule like? What, what would be the best fit for you? How can I customize a plan for your family? That's kind of her wording that she just says, you know, um, help customize. So that's a, a simple way of saying, you know, budget wise. Um, um, the another key thing is to ask for the sale. And so here are some things that she does, um, you know, when she's done, she says, do you have any questions or can I help you get started? And then just kind of be quiet and let them ask whether they have questions or if they're ready to get started and you can help them there. And then um, another way to do it is she simply offers what works for their family. She's like, okay, for my family, you know, we do the trio, we do the makeups, we do smoothies for breakfast, we have the tower garden. What do you think might work best for your family? And then again, just be quiet and let them process them. Don't, don't go into, okay, if you have a tight budget, you should do this. Just kind of let them do the talking. And then I want to finalize with this last thing that I thought was really good. She said, um, with customer care and following up with people, um, when they first get started, this is something that she kind of says to them. Um, she says, you know, the people who aren't happy with Juice Plus are the people who buy it with their hard-earned money and don't take it. Can you believe that? And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to be your cheerleader. I'm going to be checking in with you the first couple, um, first few months to help you make a habit of it. You know, is it best to call you or text you? And just kind of setting that up, that's a good way so you don't feel like you're constantly nagging them like, okay, did you take it? Okay, where are you putting it? Did you take it again? Because you're already kind of saying like, the only way you're not going to be happy is if you don't take it. And so I'm going to be checking in up on you. And so that's just a good way to kind of give yourself the out so you don't feel like you're nagging them. Awesome. So much goodness. I wish we had more time, but we are already over. But this is usually one of the longest calls of the year because it's just so much goodness to pack into a tiny amount of time. And so we hope you're inspired. We hope that you're just filled up and that some of the things you learned, you want to go expand on, you want to go watch those trainings. Jen's training was on Saturday. That was uh, Healthy Starts for Families by Tony Branner. Um, if you have any questions about where to find these, we can make sure you get that information. But thank you for sticking with us. We know it's late, getting late, but um, this is really what is going to pour into you. The more you know, the more confident you are, the more confident you are, the more people are going to follow you. People follow confidence and consistency. If you're taking your juice plus every day, if you're pouring into yourself and you're learning and you're sharing what you learn, like people are going to be like, oh, she knows what she's talking about. Oh, you know, she has a great resource she can send me. And that expert knows what they're talking about. And so that's just going to help you be successful. So thank you for putting in the chat what you learn. It looks like people love the Jennifer Savile training I talked about. Um, people love Tamara Sachs. That was Thursday night. Amazing. Just doctor educational video. Um, information Trisha shared. Um, just so much goodness. So I'm going to wrap us up. Thank you again for being on. We love you all. We can't wait to see you back here next Tuesday night. Make sure your teammates know and uh, have a great evening. Bye guys.